Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just gonna um, start, I get overwhelmed. So this was basically my last um, two AliExpress hauls. Like I bought so many dyes, you guys, and this box will soon be filled when my design team stuff comes in and then I'm gonna be overwhelmed and I'm not gonna wanna put this stuff away. So <laughs> I'm just gonna kinda uh, record some of it, I guess. I use this cutter pillar. It's a rotary, I think it's like a rotary, it's called a rotary blade or something. I don't know what type of special cutter it is, but it cuts my, this is 110 pound card stack. This is three sheets of it. So as you can see, I could get a, uh, stuff done quicker doing it this way versus doing my, like, we are memory keepers. Cut about an inch off for my dies to separate my dies. And then this I measure about five inches. And again at five inches with the other side. All my little scraps. So I just make a bunch of these to slide into my vinyl pouches. And for the Amazon vinyl pouches, so I'd say about 90% of my dies fit in this particular size, which is the, I think it's like a eight by something. So the actual pocket size is eight a little under eight like this flap but I, you can go taller because of this little like sometimes i have my cardstock so i'd say it's about inch eight inches tall and then five and a quarter where you can actually stick the paper in because there is a lip on the edge of this thingy so that's the small size um the bigger size is i think that's six and an eighth by wide by it could be about nine inches tall so the rest of my dies fit in here. And then there's about 0.01% of my dies that don't fit in either of these sizes. For instance, this guy, this die is just too wide. He is uh, almost six and a half inches wide. So I have a handful of dies that don't fit. And you know what? I kind of just throw them in, in my stacks. But what I was just doing was cutting the paper down with a little bit off the top. And it fits, you know, I just slide it into my my thingies like this and I am ready to roll. This is already pre-labeled because I went through my, I'm going through my dies, I'm organizing, I'm de-stashing and I, you guys, I had nothing. I had, this box was empty. I get them from Amazon. Look at this. They're all, well, they're all crusty and used, but this is from me de-stashing dies and emptying them. And so I have a ton of vinyl pouches now. I didn't have to buy any because these get pricey when you're trying to do them all at once. So I definitely would do this in smaller increments, you know, payday or, or whatnot. This is from Hobby Lobby Clarence years ago and I actually use it and I still use it. I'm, I use it for like, again, if I'm trying to get a bunch of stuff done at once or, or got a lot to cut, I'll use this guy because it's more precise. And if you guys have a place that you get your 110 pound cardstock that's cheaper than Michael's, let your girl know. I'm gonna do a pocket that's not labeled. I used to do magnets, but you guys, I have thousands. Yes, you heard right, thousands of dies because of my design teams. Magnets alone would cost me a fortune. And I don't do those. I mean, sometimes I do if like I already have some magnets left over, then I'll do it. But otherwise I, I don't do magnets. I just throw the die in there and it's kind of just hanging around. And then I do, stick if I have the original packaging I'll stick it in there and I'm glad I did that and I do that because when I was de-stashing I had some of the original packaging still so it's great for if you do ever uh, de-stash your dyes and stuff me half of my stuff is from AliExpress because yeah it's a great deal here's my little Dymo printer that I have had forever and I get the cheap refills on Amazon because the real ones, Dymo brand, is just way too expensive. So what I do is I'll put like AliExpress, if I got it from Ali, or you know, say it is a brand like Sizzix, and I'll put Sizzix, but it's mostly, uh, I'll just do the store that it's from. So KS Craft, and this is a tall men's wallet, and then the other side is KS Craft, it is a pocket slit envelope. So these both have slits and they're kind of like envelopes, wallet envelopes, so I will stick this probably in I will stick this under like an envelope category. This one though, I got from Timu, my first Timu die. I do this in a bold. And then I would put on the inside of this little tab, 
uh, this is a, what is this, jelly bag. And I shrink the size down to a 10 because the smaller you do, you know, less uh, sticker tape you are wasting. And then I also, so I do everything, well, I try to, some are messed up, but I try to stick the, the sticker, the back side of this. So when I have another bag or a purse that's gonna go behind here, I will line it up on the back of this white one so that they're not two different labels showing when it's like this, when I'm filing it, you know, I can see all the names on the left-hand side, but not all my dies are that way because back in the day I wasn't doing that. So KS Craft is over here. Uh, this one I try to peel off and reuse and it just, you know, trying to save, but nope, you gotta print a new sticker if you rip them off. So Timu Jelly Bag. Oh, these all guys are from AliExpress bunch of like banner style ones so these guys are definitely going to go together i don't care that it goes all the way to the edge because sometimes if you cut it exactly you're over here <laughs> you're fighting to get the stupid paper in so i don't cut it exactly um so these little guys look how cute i just hauled these Let's see if i can stick them sideways yes i can so he'll go down there and then another one will go right here. And these guys, I can't like, I'm not gonna go into detail like star banner, heart one, blah, 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 blah. I'm just gonna put little, you know, this isn't really a banner, it's kind of like a um, strip maybe, I don't know. But I'm gonna do it as a banner. And then this one's too big, so he will go by himself on the back side. And do this twice because I do have the back side. So always try to think ahead, like how many are you printing so that you don't gotta retype it. Cause then that gets annoying. And sometimes like, for instance, all of these dies are from AliExpress. I'll just go in and type AliExpress and um, like generic, like I have no clue what store this is. And I'll print it just boom, 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 boom a bunch of times so that I have all of these little, um, these little guys ready to roll. Like I have to like multitask. So I know that it printed and I'll just keep doing that. Cut, print, gotta be, otherwise be here all day. And so what I'm just talking about is I'll line it up on the back side so that I have both, both sides. And then my little banner, you do. Right now, these are all new dies coming in. I don't know why, why I'm buying them, but the, ones that I currently have. I have four giant like bin things from Target and and some. This one I technically could have did like hooray or birthday banner but whatever. Like that. See I'm getting sidetracked. What was I just talking about? Oh I have four Target thingies of of dies currently and I'm de-stashing so many of them because I'm like you know what have I used it? Have I thought about it? what is this my style anymore would i use this and a lot of them i was just cleaning them out like or i've gotten newer ones over the years that are improved dyes of maybe that original dye so it's like eh, get rid of that one and and do a new one so i have done one and a half of those bins i feel like i'm halfway done once it's two of those bins then i am officially halfway done with you know reorganizing like i said doing this because before I was labeling them like with the store brand, KS Craft, Andy Store, blah, blah, blah. But I got I too many, they were coming in too fast, faster than I could work. So they were just piling up. I would, I would just leave them, <laughs> it'd be like this right here. And I'd be sticking them in, in the bag and shoving them in here. Like call it a day. That's how I was organizing. So now I got to go through, make sure there's 110 pound cardstock in there and, and make sure that I have the store name if I remember and I better hurry up and label them while I can still remember and my brain's not fried. I don't have my nesting dies together. I have them nesting circles, nesting ovals. Like that's how many dies I have. They each have their own tab. So this guy, I might have to find another circle one within that group. So well, when I have time, like right now, the baby's napping. So I have time to kind of do, do a chunk at a time because that's all I can work in literally like is just chunks at a time because I like that. See? I'm on a roll. I got two dies. Down. Just a little follow me. These guys, look at these are all, I don't know what these would even be considered. Ephemerae looking pieces. <laughs> and then these ones are kind of like tickety looking. They're the strips, but they might be under borders. So it just depends how I 
in my head think of these. These are definitely tickets. But yeah, um, I will catch you guys on the next crafty video. Bye guys.